Welcome to Mobile Freedom Enterprise. This video is about something that I couldn't find anywhere. I have a 2015 Hyundai Veloster Turbo, and there was nowhere on YouTube or on the internet to explain one simple thing, how to change those bulbs without taking out the harness. Well, I discovered I had to take out the harness, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, but the good news is that uh, these cars come with H11Bs. which is a fancy schmancy, uh, uh, you, you plug it in and then the two connectors slide into uh, the actual connectors. Instead of have a, having a cable come out and it's really hard to take out without taking out the harness. Um, I was able to do that, but I still couldn't get to the harness and figure out what I needed to see because I couldn't see anything to be able to show you what I'm about to show you. So now what the point of this video is that you can take, you'll take out the whole, um, uh, this is the low beam, by the way. Uh, you'll take out the complete harness and I'll show you how to um, reuse the actual connector that's already there for the H11Bs and use standard H11 bulbs, which is fantastic. And then you won't have to take out your harness because you'll be easily you'll easily be able to turn the, 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 the bulb out, turn it, pull it out, and then the cable um, will be right there and you just unplug the old one, plug in the new one. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, please, and like and subscribe. Actually, like is thumbs up. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, let's get into it. Here's a quick video on how I accomplished this. There's three basic screws, four basic screws you need to take out. You have this one which comes right out from here <clears throat> in an angle going upwards, right there, okay? Then you have these, <clears throat> which I'll tell you what they are. There's three of them. There's one here, one here, which are obvious, and one right in there. And that's it. Okay, and this is a, what is this? Where are you? Oh. <clears throat> it's a 10 millimeter socket. Now once you get in there, you're going to realize this is the kind of bulb you have. There's no way of attaching it without removing it. There's a little clip that you're going to break off. And that is this. This piece here is going to break off. You're going to cut it off. Um, and then you'll see there's an extra piece of plastic that's attached to, which I'll show you in just a second. You're going to cut that off and it slips right in to any standard H11, so you don't have to use these bastards. Now you can switch them without having to take the whole um, light fixture out, which is awesome. Let me show you what this looks like. There's just one simple attachment, squeeze there, pop it out. That's it, the whole light comes out. And you're gonna pull forward, you're gonna pull it out this way. And here's that little piece. This here is attached to that metal piece. I broke it off. I used some clippers. Real simple. Broke it right off. Pulls out. You cut off the top piece here. You see. You're going to cut this off. So it fits into the assembly. And yellow is on one side and black is the other. You have to switch it around until it works. It works beautifully. I'll show you what it looks like once it's popped in. Okay, so here's the next one so you see how that operation works. See that? That bulb has those two pieces go in there. So when you turn it, it's really hard to get out. You see, and there's the piece you're just gonna break right off. I took out those three bolts to see what I was doing, but I'm just going to leave that on there this time and just break that off. Here's that piece. You absolutely want to take it out because you run the risk of breaking this harness. So you see there, you're going to break that off there, that little tooth there to get that loose. And then you're going to cut this off from my thumb backwards to retain that connector. And this is a uh, really weak aluminum. 
um, so it cups right off or you can leave it there, whatever you like. Here's what it looks like when you've uh, taken that off and then sheared a piece of plastic to the left. Take a look, real simple. And now before you put everything back in, you wanna make sure you have the positive with positive, with negative with negative. Just connect them. If they don't turn on, just switch them around. Real simple. Now you can put H11s in here. And there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I had the biggest trouble figuring this out without any YouTube videos. So I thought, you know what, let me, let me create this video. Um, that was the light assembly, not the harness. The harness is what connects to the back of the bulb. But now you can purchase standard H11s and not have to use the H11Bs. <laughs> and you don't have to pull out the entire light assembly just to change that bulb because uh, it's easier to just turn, pull out, and the cable's right there, pop it in. Hopefully you've liked this video. Hopefully it's helped you. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.